Welcome back to the Michael D Show. I really love having guests in the studio and this guest in the studio is very diverse and she's a serial entrepreneur. She's done some amazing things. You're going to love her. Uh, I've gotten to know her a little bit in this book project called Real Women in Real Estate. She's a multifamily real estate investor. Congratulations, Candace, on going number one. Thank and you. empowering a thousand women. Tell me about your real estate journey. How did this all happen? Yeah, so it was quite by accident, really. Um, as you mentioned, I've been an entrepreneur my whole life. I grew up on a farm where, you know, you kill what you eat and mm -hmm. uh, you work up, sun up to sun down. <laughs> so my work ethic has always been there. Um, and my whole journey has really been trying to figure out how I can trade less time for dollars. Yeah. And initially, I got into the healthcare industry and mm -hmm. built some really great residual income in a mm -hmm. business. Um, but it wasn't passive. Mm -hmm. And you still had to you know, grind it out, so right. to speak. And it left me with... Um, just a want and a need to spend more time with the people that I was working so hard for. Mm -hmm. And quite frankly, I fell into real estate by accident uh, in 2021 by going to a real estate summit with the Grant Cardone people. Mm -hmm. And I said to myself, where's real estate been my whole life? Yeah. Because you truly can leverage uh, an asset and grow equity in a property and have it do it overnight you sleep and go on with your life and and your value of that of that apartment complex grows in value over time yeah so i mean you and your husband played around with real estate a little bit but do you have a passion now to empower one thousand women with multi-generational wealth tell me I about do. that i do i i really feel like I was missing out mm -hmm. all of these years, you know, for 30 years, I built businesses and mm -hmm. I never knew this opportunity even existed. And, and quite frankly, ladies, I had been in the investment world. Mm -hmm. I had, you know, series 65 and I helped people with stocks, bonds, commodities, all of that. Mm -hmm. But we were never encouraged or never really told about private placement memorandums. That's a fancy word for PPMs mm -hmm. and buying real estate and becoming actually uh, a limited partner in an actual mm -hmm. asset in, wow. a, in a business plan. And I just want to help as many women learn about it and get to understand it so that they can have generational wealth for themselves and their families. What are some of the key challenges people face as they get started in their real estate journey? Yeah, I think um, those of us women who are moms, business owners, mm -hmm. involved in charities, you know, we're always busy. That word busy you know, seems to really uh, elude us from being able to really make our first foot forward on things. And we all have 24 hours in a day mm -hmm. and seven days a week. And how we choose to spend that time really makes a difference. And I hope I can encourage other women to educate themselves, mm -hmm. spend even 15 minutes a day learning about this particular industry and multifamily specifically so that you too can really change your life. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know you're really passionate about helping women overcome these challenges. And so what kind does that look like for you? I know you invest a lot in your coaching and your mentoring and your personal development in this space, but uh, kind of what does it look like for you working with your teams right now? So I think the main thing that I really enjoy is just inspiring people to continue to, to strive every day. And, and failure is not uh, a bad thing. Mm -hmm. Every time you fall, you look up. And when you can look up, you can get up. And I that's like a that. Les Brown quote from Detroit, which is my hometown. Woo. And I'll tell you what, that's what I really hope to inspire mm -hmm. other women to do mm -hmm. and um, my teams, anybody mm -hmm. that I'm working with. So you're really revitalizing Detroit. You're really revitalizing Michigan. I mean, how good does that make you feel? It, it makes me feel great because <laughs> Um, I always say, you know, Detroit is the easy one that people can beat up on. Mm -hmm. And um, we hustle harder. <laughs> and so uh, we are the entrepreneurial, you know, rise, the phoenix that rises from the ashes. Yeah. And um, we have a lot of great projects in Detroit. Mm -hmm. uh, and we just have a lot of great people that want to help each other. It's the, it's the whole hand up 
atmosphere. Well, I love that. Is, I love that. What's the best way for people to get you on their stage, get you on their podcast, because you really bring the heat and uh, empower them in so many great ways. How do they find you? Yeah, I have a website, CandiceSterns.com, and Candice is spelled uniquely. It's C-A-N-D-I-U-S. Your mom um, did that for branding purposes, She right? did. <laughs> she did. And I love her. And uh, I love her for it. And uh, I'm also on Instagram, 10X Stearns. Um, you can find me at Candice mm -hmm. at Facebook, just my name. Um, with a unique spelling, you get it first. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Well, so. thanks for being on the show and congratulations for going number one. This is an incredible story you've got in the book and keep doing what you're doing. You're changing so many women's lives. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you.